Hi, Mike Wilson here, engineer and bike guy. Since 97, I've made a lot of one-off custom bikes of many, many types and know the value of good jigs and fixtures. Uh, I've designed something pretty special here that I want to show you. It's going to solve a lot of your problems with frame building. Let's start off by mounting the base or the wheelbase calculator down to the flat level surface. To be mounted down to uh, anything 1100 by uh, 200 wide, could be a bench, uh, you could sit it on the floor if you really had to. Um, I've got a drawing in behind here. I find it helps visualize the frame that I'm making, but you can actually just have this sitting on a bench and, gen and build up your angles using the angle box method I'm gonna show you uh, soon to uh, generate your frame geometry. Okay, so here's the center line jig in all its glory. The top here is the frame layout part and the bottom bit from here down is the wheelbase calculator part. So let's set up the wheelbase calculator part. I'm just gonna set up the bottom bracket height, putting a two mil spacer in here. We've got the bottom bracket drop here, which is from 90 up to zero. I'm going from 80, and a two mil spacer here makes it an 82 bottom bracket drop. Just setting up the front center, which is gonna be 625 on this bike, and I'm measuring there, 625. Okay, the rear center, this time 435, it's gonna be a gravel bike. So there it is, that's it there. Lock it so up. First, we're gonna zero this digital angle meter on the base, and then we go up onto the head tube. And we adjust the angle to my desired 71.5. Yep, that's it, locked in. And with the seat tube, we'll adjust the angle to my 74. This will go up to 80 degrees and back to 67, but I want 74. That's it right there. Lock up all these rail clamps around here. There's four of them and it's going nowhere. We've got the frame jig set up with all the measurements. Let's go over and put it in the bike stand. Out with the forks and in with the down tube and head tube fixtures. This is where the centerline jig changes from a frame geometry tool to a tube fixture. Setting up the down tube, head tube intersection. Just confirm the height at the front there and lock it up. This is the head tube scriber, which gives us a line to rough out to on the down tube. Followed by fine tuning with a file, bringing the head tube in and out until we get the perfect fit. Through this method, we can achieve the same tight fit with the top tube. Used in conjunction with any floor or wall mounted bike repair stand, the centerline jig can rotate and flip to achieve excellent access for tacking together. As you can see, in some cases such as the seat tube and the bottom bracket, there's an opportunity to fully weld while still in the jig. Let's remove some fixtures from the rear section, the seat tube and the head tube area. This allows the frame to be withdrawn from the jig 
as a strong tack together structure. With my heat sinks in, I use the bike repair stand to fully weld the frame. Okay, so just in case anybody out there is wondering about how strong this jig is. <coughs> solid torsional strength there. And because this jig has a rail each side of the frame you're making, uh, it, it can't, it's impossible for, for it to bend sideways. So you get a straight frame out of this jig every time. Here's the frame tacked together with the fork and headset in it. Here's our 71.5 head tube angle which we wanted and on the seat tube here we have got 74 degrees so we've achieved perfect So geometry. what we're looking at here is a lightweight compact frame building system that gives you a higher degree of certainty and control over your geometry, primo welding access and overall is a compact setup that could fit into a pretty small workspace. Here is the center line frame building system, which does not include the fork and headset here, but does include the following options. Three fork headset combinations, quick release and 12 mm through axle ability, threaded English bottom bracket ability, a 36 and 46 diameter head tube scribers, and the ability to use a 28.6 seat tube. Please contact me if you have any other special requirements. Thanks for taking the time to check out my jig.